Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to retrieve data from database and we are going to display it on the view. In our last session, we have completed adding employee and adding department to the database. In this video, we are going to get employee and department details from database and we are going to display that data. Here we have under employees, we have list all option. If I click on list all, we have nothing. The same thing, if I click on list all department, again we have nothing. Today we are going to work on this. If you are following the series, then you would know that we are using SQL Server as database and we have entity framework core as our ORM and we have set up repository pattern. Look at this solution explorer. We have repositories folder, we have department repository and employee repository. Okay, let's expand views. Here we have index.cshtml. Let's start designing this view. I'll remove these things and first I will set view data. I'm setting view data to all employees. This information will be used in the title. I will add a div tag and I will use bootstrap class container and this p4 class will add padding. Next I will add a heading to this page. Here we are using bootstrap grid system. I have created a row then here column d12 this means our column will span entire width and with h3 tag we have specified the title i will create one more row i will use the class row this is a bootstrap class next i will add a column again i will write div tag and i will specify the class column d12 because again i want to span entire width of a row next i will add table and I will specify the class table. Next, I will add table header. Next, I will write the header names. Next, I will add table body. Next, we have to add table row. Inside table row, we can have table data. I will add, I will copy this TD element and I will paste again. I have added dummy data. Let's see how does it look. This is looking like this. Next, we are going to bind data from database. See. We have index action method inside employee controller. This method is responsible for displaying the data. Now, inside this action method, we are going to fetch the data from database. Inside repositories folder, we have iEmployee repository. Here we have method get all async. We are going to call this method which will fetch all the data from database. If you go to the implementation, here we have employee repository class. Look at this get all async method. This method is getting data from database. Let's start with binding this index view to employee view model. At the top, I will say at model. Then I will say employee view model. We are at I employee repository interface. Here we have get all async method. This method is returning list of type employee. I will change this to employee view model. I have opened employee repository class. Here we have get all async method. I will change the return type to employee view model. First, I will fetch the data from database and store it in employees list. Next, I will create a list of type employee view model. Then I will do the mapping. I will use for each loop and do the mapping. Here we are mapping data from employee type to employee view model type and we are adding that to employee view models. Here we are preparing a list. Then we are going to return that list. We are going to return employee view models. In real time applications, we don't do mapping like this. We use mapping tools like AutoMapper, but for easy understanding, we are doing this mapping. In some other video, we can learn how to use AutoMapper. Next, let's go to employee controller. Here we have index action method. Now we are going to call get all async method. We are calling this get all async method. We are getting error because this is asynchronous method. We have to change the return type to async then task. Next we are going to return this data to index view. So now I will return this data to index view. This is our index view. We have hard coded this dummy data. Now we are going to modify this to, to display data from employee view model. I will enclose this row inside for each loop. I will say at for each 
then where where employee in model see we have this error now we are going to fix this error because we are binding this to employee view model but we are returning list i'll change this to i enumerable see we have fixed this error i have changed all the dd to display data from model let's run this application and see whether we are able to display data on index view okay let's click on list all employee see we are able to fetch data from database and we are successfully able to display data here next we are going to apply these changes to list all department if i click on list all department we have nothing so now we are going to modify list all department okay first i will modify these repositories here we have i department repository and we have get all async instead of department i want to return department view model i will open department repository class this class implements i department repository here we have get all async again i'll change the return type now i will remove this line and add this code we are fetching data from database and mapping that data to department view model now i will open this index view i will remove these lines and i will add this code we did the same thing as we did in case of employees we are here we are assigning title this div will add a heading next using bootstrap's grid system we are displaying data i have opened department controller now i will modify this index action method this is how i have modified i'm calling this get all async method and i'm returning this departments and i have modified the signature now it is time to test these changes i will run this application again let's click on list all department see we are able to display departments in our next video we are going to learn how to edit and delete these records i hope the session was useful see you soon in the next video thank you